Hello, I'm Jenny Parker and in this video I'll talk about copyright, referencing and creative commons. As you can see from the screen in front of you, I've used Ed Canvas to create this presentation and it's a free online presentation tool for collating all sorts of different resources from the web. Copyright varies depending on what context it is used in. The information provided in this presentation is designed to assist pre-service teachers university students studying to be teachers to learn about copyright in relation to producing written and online resources. When publishing on the web it is important to check you are not contravening any copyright laws or plagiarising others' work. The Copyright Act of 1968 gives authors and the copyright owners of original work the exclusive right to reproduce, publish, communicate and adapt their material and to licence, transfer or sell it to other people. Almost all written materials, images as well as music and other sound recordings, films and other visual media are considered as works protected by copyright. The Murdoch University student support page provides links to the following information. Copyright overview for undergraduates, and about publishing on the internet, information about using music and also about how to license your own work. It also provides general copyright information about Creative Commons and other open access materials. If we have a look at the information listed here on the internet, you'll see that the web is not a copyright free zone. The Act applies to digital work just as much as it does to hard copy materials. So you need to make sure that you're citing and acknowledging the work that you're using and that you're only using things that you have permission to use. So you need to make sure that you have permission to use text and images if you're going to use them from other people's websites. Many sites will give explicit or explicit licenses for people to use their information. For example, explicit licenses might be things that say download here, printable version, share or icons such as a printer or a PDF symbol. So they're giving you permission to do that without explicitly stating as such. Explicit licenses are where they specifically state you may download one copy for your own personal non-commercial use or maybe they'll say you may download and distribute copies within your organisation or that they're free for educational purposes only. There's also many websites and images that display a Creative Commons license and that there's work available in the public domain that you are free to use as long as you acknowledge the work correctly. And if in doubt, check. A simple email to the copyright owner should result in a response advising whether you can use it or not. You'll find more information about copyright on the Technology Toolbox for Educators wiki. The Murdoch University Library website also provides information to help students learn about referencing. As you can see here it gives you information about why you should cite, which style to use and the styles used at Murdoch. The style that we're using in this unit, most of the educational units as you can see here with the subject line, is APA style. The Murdoch website gives you lots of information about how to reference in APA style. You can see the format for both an in-text reference, which is shown here at the top, and also an in-text reference or alphabetical list of references at the end of a document. It also provides reference list entries, so samples of the different ways to reference different types of materials, so books or ebooks, journal articles, podcasts, and documents from the internet. There's a tab with all of the examples, and there's also a sample reference list that you can look at. And last but not least, over here towards the end, there's an easy four step guide to referencing, which you should find very useful. And again, you'll find more information about APA style referencing on the Technology Toolbox for Educators Wiki. There are links to referencing guides for APA style, as well as some useful resources, which are links to the APA style website and the APA style blog. So these are blog articles written by the people who produce the APA referencing and they've answered all sorts of curly questions. So if you've got something a bit unusual that you need to reference 
or you're missing pieces of information, etc., you might find some of these links very useful. The Murdoch University website also provides information to help students learn about Creative Commons and open access materials. If you scroll down on the page displayed here, you'll see that there's lots of links that will help you find Creative Commons licensed materials. There's also a Creative Commons website which will give you more information about Creative Commons, about the six licenses and also how to explore and find Creative Commons licensed works. There is a vast and growing pool of Creative Commons licensed work available on the internet. For example, Flickr has a dedicated Creative Commons page where you can search for literally millions of Creative Commons licensed images. You can see here on the screen that the attribution license has over 40 million photos and it's split up into the different license types. So you should be able to find plenty of images that you can use on your own websites. And the only restriction is that you would buy by the license conditions, which is generally that you need to attribute the author. And depending on which license you're using, you either can't change the image, no derivatives, or it can only be used for non-commercial purposes. And for education in most cases, this one would be fine. Even though you're free to use Creative Commons licensed images on your website, you do need to make sure that you cite them correctly as per the license agreement. Now you should include the title, author and the type of Creative Commons license under the photo with hyperlinks to the image and preferably to the CC license. Or you could include the reference at the bottom of the page, for example, an APA style reference at the bottom of the page for this image shown on screen would look like this over here on the right hand side. And again, there's more information and resources about Creative Commons works available on the Technology Toolbox for Educators Wiki. Information such as why students should publish their work on the web, how to get a CC license, and how to add a CC license to your own website. Plus there are links to lots of other useful resources, tutorials and support materials.